Hi everyone, so I got to work and it is, well first I'm going to tell you, this is my fragrance store and this is my hair store. That's New York. I love New York. That's not where I live now though. <laughs> and this is work. So it is, did I just say what time it is? I forgot. It's 1014. Oh my gosh. I normally start at... 10 o'clock I didn't even look at my <laughs> planner which is where I put all my appointments so it was 10 03 then 10 06 I was like oh my gosh my clients late I do not like lateness oh wait look at all this candy you guys this is where I get my nachos see that then they have um, all kinds of sp Spanish candy Mexican candy and snacks this whole store is snacks Okay, so I'm going to make this little video because now I have 15 minutes before my client gets here. Um, on the way to work, oh my gosh, and I do not have a selfie stick. <laughs> I don't really do selfie stuff like this. Um, on my way to work, I listened to a video by one of my friends, one of my millionaire friends. Um, that doesn't know me and he was saying he was saying what was the topic how to dang it what did he say okay hold on you guys I just need a second this is where I work while well, I think <laughs> in this building and that's like Children's Mercy West Children's Mercy is like the big children's hospital in Kansas City. And then that building is um, a barber school and a nail salon. And there's an empty booth for rent, an empty store for rent. And that's the highway. We're in Kansas City, Kansas right now. Okay. I forgot what the title was, but it's on Valuetainment. And he uploaded it today. Man, it was such perfect timing. He was talking about, he's about business though. But it's still related and he even talked about weight he was like when you have a success like let's say for instance i successfully did 10 days of snake diet water fasting with no food for 10 days like for me as a food addict um that's major so he said that's when people don't put their like they lower their effort so before that my hopes were high on losing lots of weight and a little bit of time and you know doing this for 10 days and now the next mindset like your standards are high and then now my standards are so low i'm like oh i didn't even intermittent fast yesterday <laughs> i just ate what i wanted not the sugar though and my standards were lowered drastically so his point was people will like aim for like a hundred thousand dollars a year and then make two hundred thousand and then because they've exceeded their expectations or they met their expectations their standards lower so now instead of going to work at 7 a.m they're going to go at 11 a.m or 9 9 a.m like their standards lower so now their performance is lower he was like other people will reach that two hundred thousand and say wow look what i did now, how am I going to even work harder to even make better results? So I was like, dang, I needed to hear this, you guys. This is the day I needed to hear this because I'm like, oh, I was going to give you guys a video saying, what should I do? Because I want to be, man, I wish I could be like, just leave all the 40s and the 30s by my birthday, which is November 12th. But I was like, no, that's extreme. So if I would have listened to his philosophy and took his advice, which I should, um, I'd be like, oh, forget this. I got 14 days. I can make it to the, like, 229. Um, instead of lowering my standards like I did. I'm like, nope, I'm not even doing that. But I don't want to do a 10-day fast. So what I'm thinking is I am going to halfway take his advice. And I'm not going to be a slacker. So today, I told you guys I don't know what I'm going to do. Today, I'm definitely not going to eat all day. It's 10, 10, 18. I haven't put, I haven't ate anything yet so that's a good start so either I'm gonna eat nothing or I'm gonna eat a short intermittent fasting window 
not like yesterday man <laughs> man that video okay i want you guys to go watch it one just for the weight loss aspect like if you um set a goal and you do something really good you want to keep your expectations high that's like my refeed was bad like i should have just ate and then got right back on it and worked even harder i should have said okay i didn't reach 20 pounds let me do x y and z but this time i'm gonna really hit the weights this time oh you guys i found out where the glycogen is stored it's stored in the liver and in the muscles so the other day when i talked about when i did this the nine day snake diet almost every day i did weights like tons of weights a lot of reps low weights i burned out that glycogen store from my liver and my muscles and that was because of my snake diet coach um that's what he did so i'm gonna hit th these last however many days into my birthday i'm gonna hit those weights god willing because i want to be more effective and i don't want to lower my standards i might eat a little more i don't know i don't know what it, the eating part i'm gonna do but man i needed that video valuetainment is the best I challenge you to find a better entrepreneur um, channel. It's just amazing. If you're any kind of business person, even a little bit, oh man, go to his channel, click on videos, click on most, most watch videos, see if it's a playlist and watch the playlist. Or if he has any playlists on business, I'm telling you, it could change your life if you implement even a fraction of what he says. But even if you're not, go over there and watch that video. I think it's how to raise your standards as an entrepreneur. So I'm going to go back in here to work. And I'm here 30 minutes early, which is good. You know, I could straighten up a little bit. You know, I need to take this time to do something productive. So I'm still feeling great today. Um, hopefully my client come exactly on time. And I only have two clients today. And that's it. See you later or tomorrow, God willing. Bye.